the World Bank recently cut its FY23 real GDP growth forecast for India to 7.5% from 8%, which is slightly more bullish than the Reserve Bank of India's forecast of 7.2%. S&P and the IMF have also recently cut their FY23 forecast for India. Amid these signs of slowing growth, further shocks could be in store. The finance ministry has warned of a twin deficit problem, with higher commodity prices and rising subsidy burden leading to an increase in both the fiscal and current account deficits. According to the ministry's latest monthly economic review, an increase in the fiscal deficit might cause the current account deficit to widen and weaken the value of the rupee. This could further aggravate external imbalances, creating the risk which is admittedly low at this time of a cycle of wider deficits and a weaker currency. But at the same time, the report also said that even as the world was looking at a distinct possibility of widespread stagflation, India was at low risk due to its stabilization policies. Well, the implication for the economy is that the government would have to be willing to accept that the growth rate would be lower than targeted. It's just that so simple. Because lower the growth rate, the better would be both the problems. But if the government tries to keep up the, the growth rate, uh, then both the fiscal deficit as well as the, uh, the current account deficit will widen. See, for fiscal 23, it looks like that uh, we will be having a higher current account deficit, which is going to put pressure on the balance of payments and hence the currency. So this is something which we will not be able to escape and the RBI will have to constantly intervene in order to steady the balance of payments. And growth is going to take place on account of what happens in the private sector. The government will only have to work to make sure that their CapEx targets for 22-23 uh, are met. And it looks like that there is a bit of determination on that and they could be looking at cutting other expenses in order to ensure that you reach the fiscal deficit number of 6.4% without uh, compromising on growth. Meanwhile, Indian financial markets have witnessed hefty foreign investment outflows the past eight months. A weak GDP growth outlook has exacerbated the situation. However, a paper co-authored by Reserve Bank of India's Deputy Governor Michael Devabrata Patra says that there is only a 5% chance of portfolio outflows of up to 3.2% of GDP in a year in response to a COVID-type contraction in growth. In a black swan event comprising a combination of shocks, there is a 5% chance of outflows under portfolio investments of 7.7% of GDP and short-term trade credit retrenchment of 3.9% of GDP. The warning about a twin deficit begs the question, will the government have to prioritize macroeconomic stability over near-term growth going ahead? If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. Sab achhi dikh rahi hain yaar. Kaun se kare dun? Ye to wahi baat hui. 4000 shares listed hai. Kaun sa lu? Wo to sabse aasan hai. Tujhe 5 paisa nahi pata? Shh. Ab to sabko pata hai. फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफो